Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on environmental microbiology and this is the part one of this series of videos on environmental microbiology. So let's start the question and question on this topic. So the first question of this video that is which among the following does not belong to the group of total coliform and the options are option A that is E. coli, option B Enterobacter, option C, Klebsiella, option D, Shigella. So, which one does not belong to the group of total coliform? And the right one is option D, that is, Shigella is not a coliform bacteria. Okay, so this is the first question. Let's move on to next. And before moving to the next question, let's know what is coliform. So, coliforms are a common indicator of sanitary quality of food and water so they can be found in the environment and in the feces of all warm blooded animals including humans so coliform bacteria serve as critical indicator of water quality whether their feces whether they are contaminated with feces or uh, men, uh, human generated products so as their evidence of recent fecal contamination of water suppliers okay so let's move on to question number two that is clostridium mostly belong to which of the following class of microbial groups and the options are option a sulfite reducing bacteria option b sulfate reducing bacteria option c sulfite reducing bacteria or option d sulfide reducing bacteria so the right answer is option a that is sulfite reducing bacteria so here we will see the sulfite reducing anaerobes that is clostridia can be an indicator of groundwater and drinking water contamination sulfite reducing clostridia reduce sulfite to sulfite at 37 degrees celsius within 24 hours and this clostridium perfringens is the most important organism of this species so it is often associated with fecal contamination and also they are the anaerobic organisms okay they are anaerobes and also they reduce sulfide to sulfide that's why their name comes from okay so the next one is question number three that is which of the following is the most important criteria of fecal coliform group and the options are option a ferment glucose at 35 degrees celsius Option B, ferment lactose at 44.5 degrees Celsius. Option C, produce gas. Option D, produce pore. So, which one is correct about the fecal coliform? And the right one is option B, that is ferment lactose. They can ferment lactose at 44.5 degrees Celsius. Let's move on to question number 4. That is filamentous bacteria and microbes in the activated sludge tank can be controlled by addition of which of the following chemical and the option is option a chlorine or hypochlorite option b nitrous oxide option c permanganate or option d potas alum so the right one is option a that is chlorine or hypochlorite can be used to control uh, control the at control the filamentous bacteria and microbes in the activated sludge tank so here we will see the activated sludge process is a type of biological wastewater treatment process for treating sewage or industrial wastewaters using aeration and a biological flock composed of bacteria and protozoa so this is a wastewater treatment process by biological organisms so let's move on to question number five that is the fecal coliform group comprises which of the following bacteria and the options are option a e coli and citrovector option b e coli and klebsiella option c enterobacter and e coli or option d klebsiella and enterobacter and the right one is option b that is e coli and klebsiella so the fecal coliform group comprises which one of which of the following bacteria that is E. coli and Klebsiella? Okay. Next is question number six. That is, which of the following criteria is not 
suitable for indicating one microbe to be indicator organism of wastewater contamination. And the options are option A, it should be one of the intestinal microflora of warm blooded animals. Option B, it should be present in greater number than the pathogen. Option C, it should be present when pathogens are present and absent in uncontaminated sample. Or option D, it should possess fermentative growth ability. So, which one is the correct one? So, the right answer is option d that is it should pause fermentative growth ability so which of the following criteria is not suitable for indicating one microbe to be indicator organism of wastewater contamination that is which one is a which is not the correct suitable characteristic or indicator indicating one microbe to be indicator organism that is it should possess fermentative growth ability this is not true but other three, other three options are correct about indicator organism. Let's move on to question number 7. That is, Clostridium perfringens appear to be a reliable indicator for tracing fecal pollution in which of the following environment? And the options are option A, agricultural run, runoff. Option B, all water bodies. Option C, industrial wastewater or option d marine environment and the right one is option d that is marine environment so clostridium perfringens appear to be a reliable indicator for tracing fecal pollution in marine environment okay next is the increased concentration of which of the following chemical compound leads to overgrowth of thiotrix and begiatoa and the options are option a sulfide option b sulfate option c sulfite or option d thiosulfate and the right answer is option a that is sulfite so here thiotrix and begiatoa are both genera of filamentous colorless sulfide reducing organisms so the increased concentration of which of the following chemical compounds leads to overgrowth of thiotrix and vegeto that is sulfide because they are sulfide oxidizing bacteria okay next is question number nine that is which of the following is or are the major product produced after composting in aerobic condition and the options are option is co2 option b nh3 option c nh2 or option d all of this so the right one is option D that is all of this so all of this CO2 when the carbon dioxide ammonia and water are the major products produced after composting in aerobic conditions so what is composting this composting is a controlled aerobic process that converts organic material into a nutrient rich biologically stable soil amendment through natural decomposition the end product is compost so this is the process of producing fertilizer by decomposting okay so the next one is question number 10 so among which of the following bacteriophage does not belong to the example of indicator organism and the options are bacteroids fudge option b coliphage option c male specific rna coliphages or option d t4 bacteriophage so which one is not an example of indicator organism and the right one is option d t4 bacteriophage is not an example of indicator organism let's move on to question number 11 that is which of the following criteria is best useful to determine the microbial source of fecal contamination and the options are option A antibiotic resistance marker study, option B biochemical fingerprinting, option C carbon source utilization profile or option D ribotyping and the right one is option A that is antibiotics resistance marker study. So this antibiotic resistance marker study criteria is best useful to determine the microbial source of fecal contamination. Okay. Next is question number 12 that is which of the following anaerobic bacteria does not belong to the coliform 
group of microbes and the options are option a bacteroids option b bifidobacteria option c clostridium option d fusobacteria so the right one is option d that is fusobacteria okay so let's move on to question number 13 it is in the year 1914 the u.s public health service adopted which of the following group of group as an indicator of fecal contamination of drinking water and options are option a coliform option b mycoform option c pl pplo or option d rickets rickets form and the right one is option a that is coliform so coliform <coughs> is the uh, coliform is a group which is used as an indicator for fecal contamination of drinking water indicator organism use coliform is used as an indicator organism here so the next is question number 14 in addition to biofilm formation quorum sensing in both gram negative and gram positive bacteria is also known to be involved in which of the following activities and options are option a virulence and motility option b sporulation and symbiosis option c production of secondary metabolite or option d all of the above so the right one is option d in all of the above activities the in addition to biofilm formation quorum sensing in both gram negative and gram positive bacteria is also known to involved in this all activities okay so now we will see what is see the next question it is question number 15 so which of the following does not belong to chemical indicator of monitoring water quality and the options are option a fecal sterol and free chlorine option b fluorescent whitening agent option c level of endotoxin option d level of pathogenic toxin so the right one is option d that is level of pathogenic toxins so which of the following does not belong to chemical indicator of monitoring water quality that is level of pathogenic toxins is not an indicator of monitoring water quality so the next question is Question number 16. Which of the following is or are the standard method of detecting total and fecal coliform? And the options are option A, most probable number that is MPN. Sorry, it will be MPN. Membrane filtration method or both, both and MF, sorry, this is, uh, this will be both and option D will be none of this. So the right answer is option C that is both option that is for detection of total and fecal coliform most probable number and memory filtration method both we can use okay. So sorry for this mistake. So let's move on to question number 17 that is which of the following is a major contaminant of wastewater system and options are option A recalcitrant xenobiotics option b toxic metals and suspended solids option c volatile organics and pathogens option d all of this so the right answer is option d that is all of this so which of the following is the major contaminant of wastewater system that is recalcitrant xenobiotics toxic metal and suspended solid volatile organics and pathogens all are involved for the contamination of wastewater system so the next one is question number 18 which among the following serve as the major and most primary goal of wastewater treatment plant and the options are option a reduction of the organic content of wastewater option b removal or reduction of trace organics that are recalcitrant to biodegradation option c removal or reduction of toxic metals or option D removal or inactivation of pathogenic microorganisms so the right one is option A that is reduction of the organic content of wastewater 
so this is the right one so let's move on to question number 19 that is the physical process of waste treatment is called unit operation so which of the following is not a method of such process of wastewater treatment and the options are option a flock flotation option b flocculation option c straining or option d sedimentation and the right one is option b that is flocculation so the physical process of waste treatment is called unit operation which of the following is not a method of unit operation or physical process that is flocculation flocculation is not involved in physical process of waste treatment so let's move on to the last question of this video that is biological process that is activated sludge trickling filter etc of this biological processes of treatment of wastewater belongs to which of the following treatment process and the options are option a primary treatment process option b secondary treatment process option c tertiary treatment process or option d quaternary treatment process and the right one is option b that is it is a secondary treatment process so biological processes of treatment of wastewater belongs to secondary treatment process okay so these are all 20 questions of this part one video of environmental microbiology so thank you for watching this video